Oh, hey, what's this going to be? It's just scraggy. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, uh, this is going to be a very self-indulgent video here, because uh, much like I did my crazy, boring, that nobody wanted to watch video of me, like, showing off my entire collection in Pearl after I completed that, um, it is now time for me to do the same for White. Um, here I have various starters with me for reasons that will be understood shortly, I think. Um, because there are only a few Pokemon that I don't have yet, and I am going to be getting those on screen here. And so, right now I'm basically just bait and switching all four of these so they can all get a share of the experience from this wild battle. Assuming that this sand attack does not screw me over. And no, I don't know how long this is going to take, but you will all just have to deal with it. If you don't want to watch it, if you're not interested in this kind of thing, obviously you're not forced to. But I am big on my Pokemon collections, and putting 400 plus hours into a collection like this, I would like people to be able to see it, basically, so... Uh, what do I... Tackle, whatever. Not like I'm gonna use any of these, but still. Come on, now. Don't particularly want Sweet Scent. And yes, I did go f through far too much trouble to get all of these... Like, 20 or less experience away from evolving. Because that's just the kind of person that I am. Well, there's one down. Not really sure what I'm going to say about most of these. Oh, wing attack. Um, I don't need scratch. So, um, since I am going to be showing off my collection in full eventually, and I don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of time on each one of these, like, starters saying where they came from. I guess I'll explain this now. Um, out of the, um, first through fourth gen starters, I just, I actually, like, just, uh, imported them into my game yesterday, because, I guess I'll talk about that right now. Um, the one thing that I kind of, like, refuse to do, eh, magic leaf, um, I, with my Pearl collection, from back in the day, um, as you may remember if you, like, followed any of my stuff on that. Um, my challenge for that one was collect everything with as little trading as possible, and so go through whatever other, like, things I need to do in order to get something else. So I did a lot of importing from Gen 3, um, weird exploits with, like, getting trade evolutions the way you're not supposed to, that kind of stuff. Um, this one was kind of the opposite. I didn't really mind trading. I still didn't do it online. Like, I would only do it with my own games, or Brenna's, or Jordan's, or whoever. But, um... And so, like, I'd do it if I didn't have any other option. But I did avoid importing stuff for as long as possible. And I finally decided yesterday, like, screw it, I'm just gonna do it. There's a few months left before... Jeez, uh, am I ever, I, sure, I'll get rid of Curse. Um, I decided, like, X and Y are going to come out in a few months. They're probably not going to release any of these Pokemon that require imports. Those being Pikachu, the old starter families, and no, I don't count the Walmart Sinnoh starters as a, like, feasible way of getting those. Um, unknown and a few of the legendaries, namely the Kanto Birds, the Johto Beasts, and the Hoenn Weather Trio. So I imported all those, plus some of the event Pokemon. Um, so yesterday... Oh, where's the Pokemon Center? I think it's this way. Um, yeah, for the starters... Um, let's see. Trico, Charmander, and Totodile... I bred in my Soul Silver game from the ones that you get in that game, because you get one starter from each set, basically. Um, uh, let me... Hold on. Charizard, you go here. I'm using a 
pen as a, as a stylus, and it's not working particularly well. Uh, here we go here. Let me get my next group ready. Get in there. Come on. Get in here. Okay. And get up my Celebi. Let me actually show this off. Um, this was another thing I imported just today, actually. Uh, yeah, this is my event Celebi that I had in Platinum. I think it was... I have one in Pearl, one in Platinum, and one in Soul Silver. I think this one was from Platinum, not that anybody cares. Um, here's its stats. I did reset for decent stats on it. Um, and I'm about to use this to get Zorua. So I will do that. But anyway, yeah, Trico, Charmander, and Totodile were from Soul Silver from the starters you get in that game. Um, let's see. Turtwig was from my actual like, Turtwig starter. Like, it's not the one I used in-game, but, um... Is this the Game Freak building? No. Uh, I'm not sure what street it's on. Like, it was an offspring of my Turtwig starter from Platinum. Uh, Piplup came from, like, some file. I don't remember which. Chimchar was from my recent Diamond playthrough, actually. And all of the other ones um, are basically just bred from the ones I have, like, laying in my Emerald game from ages ago. There's, like, some from Fire Red, some from Emerald, some from Coliseum. Where the hell is the Game Freak building? I probably should have, like, looked this up before doing this video. It might actually be on the top road, I'm not sure. It... Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, okay. Lulu la la la. Clearly that is what Celebi says. Do da la 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 la. Oh, I... Oh, yes. Um, let me get you in... Do I want a Premier Ball or... Not, not Medicine. What am I doing? Premier Ball or... Do I have a Luxury... I do have Luxury. It fits the color scheme better. I'll go for Luxury. Probably should have, like, reset for stats on this thing, but screw it. Who cares? Nope, not really. But you get a very good stat, um, Zorua in Black 2, which I actually did, or White 2, which I did EV train, so I'm reasonably happy with that one. Anyway, now that I've done that and finished rambling about the starters for 20 hours longer than anyone needed to hear me talk about them. Let us move on. Because I've got more stuff to evolve. Come on now. Yeah, I was debating for a long time if I wanted to import any of this stuff, because there was always a chance that they would release them later on. Um... And, but then, like, it's gotten so close that I'm thinking by now they're probably not going to do it. There is a Deoxys event in, like, two days, and that is, I am going to need to do that to complete the collection, technically. Um, so that's one thing I still have to look out for. But, uh, I'm also hoping that they're not going to release any of the other event Pokemon, like Mew, because I did transfer those from my older games. If they do, it's not really a huge deal, because I don't mind having them taken out of my older ones. Because it's not like I'm going to make any use of them in there, but still. <clears throat> Come on now. Probably should have turned animations off, but whatever. Take overly long on that one. 
I'm glad I got everything to under 20 experience needed, because this one did not really give me very much. Crunch would be good to have, so let us take that. Alright, and now we sit through more evolution screens. I'm trying to think what other stupid crap I could talk about while I'm doing all this. Oh yeah, um... I did do a lot of Dreamworld collecting. I do not still have everything from that. Petal Dance, do I want you? Probably better than Razor Leaf. I mean, I know it has the confusion stuff, but sure, why not? But yeah, I, di I didn't collect everything from Dreamworld. There's still, um, oh, I'm thinking about it actually. Let me pull that up. Uh, Notepad, Gen 5 missing list. This is not the correct file. Notepad, Dreamworld needed list. Okay. Um, let us see here. I've got for Alligator wants to learn agility. Do I want to learn agility? Um, no. Okay. I'm just, I'm saying this because you can't see it. These are the things I need to get to replace stuff in the PC. Um, not because I need it, but because I might as well. Because, like, for example, Doduo, I have one Doduo that's caught normally and one that I evolved, like, a Dodrio that I evolved from one, so one of them might as well be a Dreamworld one. Uh, this is the list of stuff that I don't really need, per se, but I don't have in my entry forest. And so to be completely anal, I would eventually need those. So, whatever. Let me put that aside. Blaze Akin. Blaze Kick. That is a good move. Certainly a hell of a lot better than Ember. And... There you go. One more. <clears throat> so, yeah. The Dreamworld stuff is not completely finished, but I didn't really ever intend it to be. It was kind of just a side thing I had going on. White Forest is another issue I'll bring up when it becomes relevant, because freaking screw the White Forest. If you don't know how that operates, you get a certain number of trainers in your game that will cause Pokemon to be available. Uh, Fury Attack, I'm get rid of that. Um, and to get the other ones, you need to connect to a black version game. Let me actually put up a repel. Where are my repels? There they are. And so there's uh, like f I think five Pokemon that I I got from like the Dream World or through other methods, but I did not get specifically from White Forest. And so again, the like OCDness in me demands that I should one day get those. But given the difficulty in doing that, I'm not sure if it will ever happen. So, let me put these guys away. While I deal with the less than perfect stylus that I'm using. Let me put Celebi away. Let me put Zoro away, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Now, I do have another Zoroa here, which I bred from the Toys R Us event Zoroark, which I am also going to be replacing here once I do the event with the shiny Entei. I do have the other shiny legendary beasts, but they are in another game. I did not import them to this one. I only did one. Relegator, go here. You, you. Okay. So, these four starters are now going to be the last things that I need for my Pokedex, aside from Deoxys and Manaphy. I am doing these four specifically last, because these are the first starters that I picked through my first playthroughs. Squirtle from Blue, Cyndaquil from Silver, Trico from Sapphire, and Chimchar from uh, Pearl. So, let us go and do this. Run into every wall.
probably put up another repel, because I would rather catch the Zoroark before I do this other stuff. So, regular repel. When I get in there, let me actually show the Pokedex also, just so you can see that these are, in fact, the last ones that I need. I'm not going to scroll through the entire thing, but... Yeah, let's see. Obtained 643. So I'm only missing six. So there is Blastoise. Uh, let's see. Typhlosion. I keep, like, skipping around here. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, Sceptile. That's three. Uh, Deoxys is four. Infernape is five, and Manaphy is six. Okay. Let me go back to the beginning. Now, I certainly hope I know what I'm doing with this. Actually, do I need to have Entei in the front? I think I might. Okay, let me go up here, save, so I don't screw up horribly. I'm not sure how bad Zoroark's catch rate is. I did not look this up. I don't think it's really low, but I guess we'll find out. Random Majora's Mask music. Grouf. Oh, okay. Whoa. The hell was that screen transition? Alright, so let us use Flare Bits. Well, no, because it's technically a dark type, so uh, we'll go with Extreme Speed, see how it goes. Whoa, did it die? Nope, it lived. Okay, cool. Okay, now we chuck balls at it and hope for the best. Again, Luxury Balls would fit the uh, color scheme better, but I'd rather use Premieres. I don't really care one way or the other, I guess. So. Premieres fit better with the rest of the collection, and this way I'll have one of each. And Okay, cool, there we go. Doesn't this field, like, disappear or something? I'm not sure. It's funky. Alright, so, now that I've done that, let me go ahead and do this. Let me check this thing out. Hasty. High speed, low defense. Isn't that the same nature that you get from Ends, Zorua? Hasty? I'm not sure. Whatever. It's not too bad, so it works. And I swear this... Grass is in the shape of a Game Freak logo. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Alright, Petalil, you are going to be the final Pokemon to aid me in my collection here. How awesome would it have been if it was a Shiny? I have not actually run into a Shiny in this game, or in White 2. The only shinies I have are the ones that the game basically just gives you. So, I have the Haxorus from White 2. I have the Entei, obviously. Um, I have not yet gotten the um, Dratini from the White Tree Hollow. Oh, don't be doing this, come on. Yeah, that's my viewers falling asleep because they don't care about any of this, so... Whatever, wake up. No, not Antidote. Don't do it again. Okay.
And you die. And learned 75 new moves. Again, don't need Fury Swipes. Oh my god. Skull Bash. Um, don't really like Skull Bash. I'll keep these. Don't learn anything. Okay, you're, you're, you're good. How about you? You're good too. Okay, cool. So now we sit through four more evolution screens. I'm trying to think what the final Pokemon that I got and all my other collections were. Pearl, it was technically Celebi. I like to consider it Dialga though, because that was the last one I needed for the non event Pokemon. Um. I never finished one in Gen 3, except on ROMs. In my original Silver, I think the last one I needed was Arcanine. Blue, I don't remember. It was probably like Arbok or something that I needed to trade from Red. Okay, you're not learning stuff. You will probably be learning Leaf Blade. But that's okay. Because Leaf Blade is a cool move. So how are you liking the random gray bars in the video? Yeah, I, I don't really know how to get rid of those, honestly. Oh, did not learn Leaf Blade, what do you know? And the final Pokemon is Infernape. Kind of an odd one to end with, I guess, but somewhat appropriate in its own way. Because after all, it was my starter in Pearl. So, okay. And that should do it. I do not have anything with Fly, so let me put up another Repel. Because I don't want to be running into crap. Alright. So let me put all these away, and then I will see, like, if I get a diploma or whatever. I think you get one at your house, but I'm not actually sure. Do you, you might actually have to go to the Game Freak building, which if you do, now that, like, makes me realize I've kind of done this in a stupid order, but oh well. Okay, so put Entei back in here. Zoroark, you go where you go. And let me get my team of ragtag misfits in here. Blastoise. And Typhlosion. And, no, don't do that. And there we go. Alright. Now, this team here, this is my wedding day Pokemon. As I've mentioned in my other video of this, I caught this the day I got married. It's kind of appropriate that way, I suppose. And then these are just, like, the leftovers from my second playthrough of White that I did not use throughout the entire game. I traded all of my other team members to White, too, so I have, like, a full collection of, like, all 75,000 Pokemon that I've ever used in that one. But anyway, now that I have done that, let me actually do this. That was a nice little triumphant tune. Well, wasn't that helpful. And a card should be silver. Red. It was purple. Let me actually see how many trades I've done. Uh, 78. I have not yet run into... 8,192 wild Pokemon, so the fact that I have not yet found a shiny is not completely inexcusable, but still. 
Blah, blah, blah. Not sure why I'm looking at all this. Okay. Come on. Scroll. Scroll. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. To level up the card, you have to, like, do all the musicals. Well, like, collect all the musical props. Uh, Battle Subway. And I think you have to collect all of the uh, Entralink powers. Like, seriously, screw all of those tasks. I'm not doing any of those. I did attempt the subway in White 2. I have not done the super trains yet, but I have, like, completed the regular ones. And, no, it was this way. Going to get my diploma, damn it. I don't care how useless it is, I want it. Because I deserve it. Run over all the people in the way. Please do not let me accidentally battle Game Freak Morimoto. I uh, don't know who I talked to. So let me actually save in case I get into a battle accidentally. I assume this is where you're supposed to go. Watch it just not be. Okay, cool. Huzzah. Game Freak, all the staff. All the staff. Alright, so now I've got that at my house. Which is... Nice, I guess? I don't know. I don't entirely want to go over there and look at it, because it's going to be the exact same thing. And I think if I talk to Juniper, she'll probably just say the same thing that she said when I talked to her the other time. So... Let me go to a PC that does not have the Pokemon Center music playing in the background, so I can show off my full collection. Because this song is so much better. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? Yeah. I think it's this. No, where's the, uh... Amanita and Fennel. Where the hell are they? They're in this city, aren't they? It's probably one of these. Sorry, I don't remember where everything is. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. Let's buckle down for a fun one here. So, starters, I don't really have to say anything else about them. I've already said where they all came from, pretty much. But I just will be going through them anyway. And while I'm doing this, actually, let me explain. Oh, here's Dong Hanut, which I got from Jonah. Um, the uh, symbols on the bottom do actually mean something. The circle means it was hatched from an egg. Triangle is, um, White Forest. Square is it was traded or imported from another game. Uh, Heart is Team Member. Star is Dream World. And Diamond is Event. It's a system that works for me, so whatever. It's just a way for me to remember, like, where stuff came from. And the reason... Yeah, here's Donatello. got that one from Brenna. Um, I named Donghanut and Donatello for, like, personal reasons. Don't really ask. See, so, yeah, I hear um, anything with a star with a dream ball. You can obviously tell it's from Dream World. I'm not going to point out every single one of those because there's absolutely no point to. I will just talk about Pokemon that are noteworthy in one way or another. And yes, I do collect different forms of things. I don't have all the gender differences, just the major ones. Okay, so yeah, we might be here for a while. We've got 24 boxes to go through, but hopefully I will have stuff to talk about for most of these. Well, not most, but a decent amount of them. Freaking Zigzagoon, I swear to god, 
did not show up in the dream world for like nine years. Oh yeah, here's another thing. Um, the reason I I mention things that are in eggs is because another one of my challenge conditions in this playthrough was to not breed unless it's necessary. So, I only did it if it was something that like I had to trade for, or if there was no other way to get it. This one I actually just got today, because um, I traded away my other bee drill, which was originally from Jordan's game. I gave that to my other game. Don't ask why, it's not important. Okay, come on. There should be some stuff in this one. Yeah, here is Shiny Pichu from the GameStop event. Uh, this one actually had a bit of an adventure. It was originally in my Platinum game. I gave it to Brenna for some reason and then got it back and I, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, this Pikachu was from the Pokewalker Yellow Forest thing, so it has a uh, Volt Tackle. And then this Raichu has nothing significant about it whatsoever. Oh yeah, Meryl is one of, the, or Azuril technically I guess, is one of the Pokemon that I still need from White Forest. I will try to remember those when they come along. Is this the... No, this, uh... Yeah, this is a regular Misharna. It's not the one with the hidden ability. I don't think I ever caught that one, actually. Is this, uh... Yeah, this is Birthday Togekiss. On the month of your birthday, you get a free Togekiss from the Dream World for some reason. And then... Okay, yeah, that one is White Forest. Just checking. I will try to remember what those are. And now we are in the box of many grass types. Uh, Budu is another one that I need from White Forest. This one I got from Brenna's game. I got this, like, freaking day before they released the Dream Park area where you can get Rosalia from there. Kind of pissed me off, but whatever. I did eventually get one. Evolved it into Rose Red. Uh, let's see. I actually have two shiny Oddishes in my Platinum game that I have yet to evolve. I want to evolve one into Bellossom and one into Vileplume. I got them by chaining, which I normally... Oh yeah, this is the in-game trade. Um, normally I didn't like chaining because I feel like it kind of ruins the value of shinies. I like them just being random encounters, but I wanted to get Oddish because I just always wanted a shiny Oddish, so... Whatever. I might do something with those one day. I don't know if I will or not. Oh yes, keep in mind, I know I've pointed this out, but, uh... Like, here, both of these are caught from Dream World. I didn't just catch one and then breed it. That was another one of my stupid challenge conditions. Shinx is another thing that I have not gotten from White Forest yet. Uh... Gothitelle, yeah, I got from Brenda's game, because it's not in white. Yeah, freaking Machamp's sprite with the jiggly packs, like, just, ugh. Conkledur, no, I did not name it, um, Chuck, yeah, though I probably should have in hindsight. Graveler and Golem, by the way, very useful for evolving things that need happiness. Just give the thing that needs to evolve by happiness, like a Togepi or whatever, give it a lucky egg, switch to Graveler or Golem, use Explosion against a high-level Audino, you'll gain like 30 levels at once and immediately evolve. It's very helpful. Why is this in a Luxury Ball? I don't know. Yes, I have every form of Burmy. These I did breed for because I didn't want to catch 18,000 different Burmies from the Dream World. I already caught this one, this one, and this one. The rest are bred. 
Oh yeah, fun fact about Volbate and Illumis, or Illumise, as it's apparently called. Um, they are version exclusives, but you can breed one for the other. Prior to Gen 5, you could not get Ill Illumis from a Volbeat egg, and you also could not get Nidoran female from a Nidoran male egg, but they did change that for Gen 5, so now you can. Wait, are you... I guess this one's technically Dream World, because it spawned from a Dream World Nincada. I don't know, whatever. We've got, like, 19 boxes to go, so I hope you like looking at Pokemon. This one, Jordan's game. Yeah, it says. You can just look at the original trainer. That's why I'm going through these individually, so I can notice stuff like that. Most annoying cries ever. Oh yeah, I have blip blip, blip blip, blip blip, and then the next one's in another box. Yeah, those do not change seasons if they are st if they are left in the PC. So I made sure to catch one like on the first of each month when I first got the game. I, one thing I have not yet done is get the Blitzel. Or you have to get a Pokemon that knows Charge from the opposite version, take it to this house in Opelucid, and then you get a Cell Battery. It, I don't even know. This one's hatched from an egg. Do, doesn't Because I, I originally had Nidoran Female and bred for the other ones, and then eventually did go back and catch another one of these, but, you know, whatever. Didn't feel like replacing all of them. I know that absolutely nobody cares, but I feel the need to point these things out. I'm very glad that they put those in the Dream World, because Stunky and Glamiao are still pretty much exclusive to uh, Diamond and Pearl. They are in black and white, too, but you have to do a Fun Fest mission to get them. It's kind of weird. Hoping there was nothing interesting that I passed up. Probably not. Electric, that's another one that didn't show up in the Dream World for like 20 months. Is this, uh, yeah, this is Jordan's. I think we're getting into the gigantic list of water types now. Yeah. Pretty much all these water types are completely unremarkable in every way. Because the game just gives you access to all of them, so I didn't have to do anything special to get any of them. I don't know. Lapras, though. This thing. Uh, this one doesn't actually know Parish Song, but yeah, that one's a pain in the ass to catch if it does. Because it's like a 5% encounter rate, and then you finally find one, and it uses Parish Song, and then you get... Cause level 6 Jellicent. Yeah. I don't think it evolves until, like, level 40. Yeah, there is one other Pokemon that I freaking hated catching because of Parish Song. I will point that out when I get to it. Oh, yeah, Wild Milotic. I do enjoy that. Why are you level 67? Maybe I put it in the Dream World and it leveled up or something. I don't know. Halfway to go, I have to break through this brick wall. Stunfisk is the best Pokemon. There is no denying this. I do like how there were a large amount of trade ev evolutions available in the wild in these games. I hope they continue with that. I also very much hope that they eventually make starters available in the wild. Oh yeah, Huntail and Gorbis. Gorbis, you can catch in the wild in white, but not Huntail. So this one is actually a trade evolution. This one was caught wild. You can't tell by looking at them, but I do remember that. 
kind of weird how that works. Huntail's in black. Yeah. Either way, I'd have to trade for it, so I might as well just evolve the one I had. Still at the water types. Yeah, here we go. Here's freaking Politoed. I hate this thing. Because it knows Parish Song. It knows Swagger, which will screw you over more often than not. It knows Bounce, which gives you fewer chances to attack it and also wastes your time while it's slowly dying from Parish Song. It's a 5% encounter rate in Rippling Water on Route 6 and nowhere else. Screw freaking Politoed. Yeah, this one's a... This one was a Dream World event. For some reason, they did an event for Krogunk. They also did Bayonet and a, maybe something else, I don't remember. I'll point them out if I encounter them and remember. Okay, at least we're past the water types. Now we're at the dark types. Yeah, this order is based off of, like, a new Pokedex or order made by, like, someone on GameFAQs. I think it was Ultra J-Man. Um, or something like that. And I just kind of adopted it for my PC storage because it is kind of better looking. Yeah, here's the event banet. Is there anything special about this one, actually? Yeah, it has Cotton Guard. And it's actually a female. I think it's, like, the only Dream World event that is. Which is really stupid. Leap day. <laughs> yep. Caught it on February 29th. So I'm like, yep, totally naming this thing Leap Day. Completely pointless. Then again, what if this isn't? Unknown time. I can kind of speed through these, I think. Yeah, I had to import all these yesterday. Thankfully, I had like 600 unknown in my Pokemon Ranch, so I didn't have to actually go out and catch new ones. I was just able to use those. I'm just like, well, let me boot up the old ranch, see if they're still in there. And they were, thankfully. I swear to God, somewhere in this collection, there are things worth talking about. Have no freaking idea where, though. Getting closer to the end. Nothing worth mentioning in that one. <laughs> I think this Mama Swine is a Dream World event, actually. Hold on. No, it's not. I still have it in the Entry Forest. I do have it, though. Delbird. Garage Sale. This one's from Brenna. Yeah, here, she named her character Donnie. Um. Let's see, what do we got here? Is this one... This one, no, this one's normal. For some reason I was thinking there was an event for that. There wasn't. This one actually is, though. This is from the Toys R Us random egg that could hatch into either an Axew, a Pidove, or a Pansage. And so I got lucky and got the Axew. I don't think there's anything actually noteworthy about it at all, other than it saying it's from a Pokemon event. But there you go. I... I did originally have both forms of Hippopotas and uh, Hippowdon. I took them out of the PC, though, because they were taking up space, and they don't actually have different um, menu icons, so I'm like, eh, whatever. 
If the game doesn't distinguish from them, then I shouldn't either. This is the, yeah, this is the uh, Zen mode one. Must listen to the entire cry. Yep, nothing worth mentioning there. How many boxes are left? I think only four. Okay, this isn't so bad. Yep, just caught these two. This is the in-game trade. This one was Dream World. The rest of these I just bred for because there was no point. Yeah, gotta love electric flying type with levitate, by the way. Ditto, I have gotten much use out of you. Okay, how do these work? This one... Yeah, this is an egg. This one was from a Dream World event. And then this one... No? I hatched both of those? I thought one of those was from uh, Dream Radar. I guess I never actually did that. Whatever. I have the Dream Radar one in my White 2 game. Yes, I did catch all of these freaking Eevees. Had to get eight of them from the Dream World. Well, seven of them, because Espeon was from the old event that they had for that. Not that you can really tell by looking, but... You can tell from the date, I guess. I caught it before the Dream Park was released. Oh yeah, this was when I thought that Odd Dino was rare, so I caught it in a Premier Ball, and I'm like, oh, okay, I finally f I found one. I bet I'm never going to be able to find him again. Yeah, little did I know. Uh, you are hatched. You are the in-game trade. I wish I had not evolved the Munchlax that you get from the trade, because now that you can get Snorlax in the Dream World, but I wouldn't have known. Well, Corona, you are very helpful for hatching eggs. And now we get into the fossils, which I think I have a Dream World version of each of them. This one, yeah, this is from Jonah. And it, you'll notice with stuff like this, both of these are hatched because my original one is a team member and it's not in my game anymore. Same thing with uh, Embor. Okay, now we are getting into legendaries, so I will actually have something to say about some of these. Kind of. One second when I get to those. Bagon is the last one, I think, that I do not have from White Forest. Let me actually look that up. I need Porygon, Azuril, Bagon, Badu, Shanks. Yeah, those are the only ones. Alright, so, Fusini, blah, blah. This Dragonite, another... You can tell that I caught it in the wild because it's below its evolution level. Again, 1% chance of encountering it in Rippling Water. And it knows, uh... Dragon Tail, which can end the battle instantly. You have to use a Pokemon with suction cups, or I think if you have something of a higher level, it doesn't work. I don't remember how that worked exactly. And this Metagross was, in fact, actually caught wild. It is a level higher because it, it gained a level from the Dream World. But yeah, Metagross and uh, Metang, real fun to catch because they have three catch rate, but. Anyway, here we go. Uh, white 2. If it says... If it's OT Josh, it's most likely from White 2. Yeah, I got all these from that game. These were just in-game normally. Event, so let me show the stats. This one, I... You, it's level 15, so you can't really tell. I think I aimed specifically for, um like, the highest possible special attack or something. I don't remember what I was aiming for with that one. These are the roamers from Soul Silver, Including Suicune, who is on the next page. These are the roamers from Platinum, which I actually just caught a couple days ago. 
And screw these freaking things, too, by the way. This Zapdos. I, I, tried to, I, I tried to paralyze them so they'd be easier to catch, but this Zapdos was faster than anything I had in my game. So I didn't actually have a way to paralyze it. It was an absolute bitch. Okay, Tornadus. Yeah, that's from Brenna. In-game. In-game. Alright, these are from White 2. This is from White 2. This is from Black 2. We're in this game. White 2. Event. Yeah, this was just a random Wi-Fi event that they did a while back. I don't really know why they did it, but I'm not complaining. Uh, this was from Dream Radar. So is this. Soul Silver. And this is the only Pokemon in my whole collection that is not caught with a regular Pokeball, Premier Ball, or Luxury Ball. I think I'm... or Dream, I think. I might have heals somewhere, but point is, it's the only one with a non-one catch rate. And that is because this is my original Sapphire file, Kyogre, because I don't have a way of accessing another one. I'd have to have Heart Gold, which I don't. I did get Jeremy's... Heart Gold Kyogre, which I used to get this from Soul Silver, but that is part of Brenna's collection and not mine. So that is why I had to use this one. Uh, Dream Radar, Dream Radar, Dream Radar. Uh, this is from White 2. Regular in game, in game. Random event. Okay, here we go. Now we're into all the events. Yeah, this is the original uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver Fall 2010 event. Don't know if its stats are good or not because it's level 5. You can't really tell. This one I just imported today. It was from Platinum. This one was also from Soul Silver. Again, low level. You can't tell if the stats are good. Victini I caught from Liberty Garden with the, uh, the pass that you get. And final page, we've got, this is the original, um, yeah, the date on this should be like September 2007, but I guess it changes when you import it. This I bred from the Toys R Us Manaphy from way ages ago, because I have the Haley Fion in my Pearl collection, so I sent this one forward. I do not have Manaphy. I have, I have the original event Manaphy, but I do not have another one for this game. Um... I hope to get one from Ranger, because I do have a copy of that that I can get it from. I just have not played through it yet. Uh, here is Shaman, which I caught from Flower Paradise in Platinum. Here is Meloetta from a recent event. Genesect from an event. And Arceus from the Dreamworld Pokemon Popularity Contest giveaway thing. And that is it, with the exception of these, which are more random events that I will show off for whatever reason. Shiny Ante, we already looked at this one. And then my original Zorua and Toys R, Ar or Toys R Us Zoroark. And there we go. If you have watched this for 53 minutes, I commend you. I don't know why you did. But I did want, like I said, I just kind of wanted to document my entire collection, and I think I have done that. So the only thing I will now do... Reset, because I did save. I freaking hope I saved. Uh, let me... Come on now. Basically just wanted to show the... Uh, Wonder cards to prove that I did get these, like, normally. Wait, no. There we go. So, yeah, what do we have? We have one, we have Liberty Pass, Random Egg, Zarwark, Victini, Mewtwo, Reshiram, and, yeah, I think that was it. Oh, Melobita also. Yeah, Genesect was white, too, only. So I will be getting Deoxys soon. Don't know if I will be getting Manaphy at all, but whatever. For all intents and purposes, this collection is done. I only wish that this was the one that had the shiny charm in it. 
I now have to build a second collection in white, too, to get the shiny charm. Hooray. Except I, it's not going to be nearly as ridiculous as this one. And I might not actually do it. But anyway, that will be all. Again, sorry that this was incredibly boring to watch, but oh well. Next time, hopefully more nuts and bolts or something. I don't know.